Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create a private endpoint and we will also discuss what is private endpoint in Azure, what it signifies and how to create it. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal. So what actually is a private endpoint? A private endpoint, let's say is a, is a mechanism or a medium for the private link in Azure. So it will enable the Azure resources like virtual machines to communicate privately with private link resources. So in this video, we will learn how to set up a private link within a VM and the virtual network and a logical SQL server through the private endpoint using the Azure portal. And then we will be able to access SQL database securely from the VM rather than accessing it through the public IP over the internet or through SSMS. So to first of all, we will create a virtual machine virtual network to host the virtual machine. And after that, we will take over to create a SQL and the private endpoint. Okay, so let me, you all know how to create a virtual machine here. I would like to apologize for the uh, husky voice today. I'm having a bad throat day today. So I'm going to go with the Windows Server 2016 data center virtual machine. Okay, as you go, I'm going to create a new resource group. Test private link RG. Virtual machine. Virtual machine would be my VM, and I'm going to keep it under West Central US. All right, I'm going to not go with any availability options. Let me go with 2019. I do not want Azure. I'm going to go with DS1v2. Let me set the username and password. Again. All right, I'm going to allow the do not leave it to default, which is none. And I'm going to go with the disk. Let's go with this default and I go to networking. Let me create one. This would be my virtual network. Address space is 10100 slash 24. I'm going to create a subnet, my subnet. Ten okay. I'm going to go with HTTP and RDP. Looks good to me. I'm going to go with offer all the options advanced. I'm going to quickly create on review and create. And I'm going to click on create. I'm going to come back as soon as this deployment is completed. Okay, this is done. Let me quickly create one logical SQL server. I'm going to go to my home. On the dashboard, I'm going to click on create a resource. I'm going to create a SQL database. I will select the same resource group here that I created for my VM.
it would be okay trash private link here is my SQL server account it would be my server I do not have a server I'm going to create one I'm sorry it would be my database and here I'm going to create a new server which would be my server okay okay and when log in I'm gonna keep it same just like my VM username and password West Central US perfect I do not want to use elastic pool for this I'm gonna create it review next to working no none I'm gonna go with default tags review create create I'm gonna come back as soon as it is done all right let me go to this perfect it is done so now I'm gonna create the private endpoint I'm gonna to go to my dashboard and I'm gonna click on create a resource under networking you would see the private endpoint option now if you will click on see all type in private link private link click on it create private endpoint so private link overview private build a private connection to a service expose your own service so that so others can connect build a private connection to a service right I'm going to click on create private endpoint and I'm going to select my resource group that I created I'm going to create my private endpoint West Central US I'm going to click on next in the resource I'm going to select connect to an resource in my AD which is the first option I have pay as you go subscription resource type would be my SQL I'm going to go with Microsoft.SQL servers I'm going to select my resource which is my Azure server that I created and this is my SQL server to click on configuration virtual network this is the my virtual, my virtual network this is the subnet that is in West Central US region I'm going to integrate with the private DNS zone I'm going to click on yes and it will create private link dot database dot windows dot net private TNS zone to enable my private endpoint will not use any task I'm going to review and create it it will check the all the values that I have put in if the configuration was right or not validation is passed I'm going to click on create 
it will initialize the deployment and I will pause the video and come back as soon as it is done. So the deployment is in progress. It's going good so far. All right, this is also done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to my virtual machine here. Okay, so I'm going to go to my virtual machines. My VM. This is the public IP. And I'm going to do this, this. I am connected to my virtual machine here. This is the IP. All right. Okay, now if I want to connect to my database privately, I will open up the PowerShell onto this VM. PowerShell. I'm launching this one inside my virtual machine. And if you would do NS lookup to your uh, server that you provisioned, the database server. Windows dot net. You see that the name as a server dot private link dot database dot windows dot net address is this and the alias is assert server dot database dot windows dot net and now you install SQL server management studio onto this VM and you can connect to it so if I go to internet and quickly install SQL server management studio downloading SQL server management studio onto my Azure VM download here okay I'm gonna pause this video and come back as soon as it is done I'm installing it oh the setup is completed I'm gonna launch the SSMS onto the server let's see how it goes Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. I will click on it. I'm, I'm launching it on my Azure VM that I created for the lab. Let's wait till it fully launches. I entered, I launched the SSMS, then I selected server type as database engine, then I entered the URL of the server that I collected from here on the Azure portal. Then I change it to SQL Server Authentication. Then I entered the username. Then I entered the password. Let's see if it's connect. See, I'm connected to my ssserver.database.windows.net. If you see that I did not uh, open any rules, here into the firewall settings I did not open any rules see I'm not entered any client IP or the server IP I just created a private endpoint and that enabled the secure connection between my Azure VM that was in the same sub in the same virtual network and the same subnet and I created a private endpoint from that virtual network to route the traffic or the access MySQL server that was also present in the same location so that is how your private endpoint works but that integrates with your private DNS zone so that when you try to resolve it from the server the reply comes from the NS lookup query as this server.database.windows.net so it would be server.privatelink.database.windows.net and the alias is this so this is how a private link works I hope you understood it and uh, if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day